this is Emily with BurlapKitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today we're going to be making a fun barn ornament using some patching plaster, some paint, I am using the Afraid Not paint line, a wooden tag from Walmart, uh, two of the larger popsicle sticks, uh, pipe, one of the pine pipe cleaners, some antique wax, and a few other supplies. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to paint the both the tag and you need two large popsicle sticks. I messed up a little bit in the beginning of this video. So you are going to need two large popsicle sticks and we're going to paint both of those with the antique wax. So the reason I'm doing this is just to sort of darken it up when I put my red paint on and give like more of a farmhouse grunge look type feel to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my red paint. I am using the Afraid Not paint line as I just said and the color I'm using is Berry. Also I get tons of questions about the antique wax. You can find the Waverly brand antique wax at Walmart. You can also find other brands. I think I'm using Deco Art in this. You can find those at just about any craft store and they're usually in with the craft paints. So I'm going to cut my popsicle stick down. This is that one that I had told you that I forgot to, that I forgot that I was going to need. So I'm going to paint that just like I did the other ones. I'm going to paint all, paint it with my antique wax and dry it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the red holly berry paint over it. And I did use two coats of paint. I did sort of speed through this because there was a lot of painting in this one. So I'm just going to make sure that's nice and dry. So those are going to be my barn doors. I'm just going to lay them in place and make sure they look okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just hot glue them in place. You want to make sure that you have them right beside each other, that there's no space in between them. J because I just think that probably is what's going to look best. So we're just going to hold these down for a minute, make sure they're dry. Now I'm going to take a Sharpie. You could also use black paint if you're good with painting. I tried with paint and it just got really wide and I kept messing it up. So I found the Sharpie to be the easiest for me. So I just outlined the barn doors and then I drew an X in the center of each one. And I just gave it a quick dry so my ink didn't smear as I was sanding it. So be careful when you're sanding. You don't want to knock your doors off or anything like that. I'm just going to sand all around the edges to give that farmhouse look again, especially because we're doing a, run, a red barn, right? So we definitely need that farmhouse look. So I'm going to go ahead and touch up a few spots that I sanded off with my um, sanding block and touch them up with the Sharpie. And now I'm going to take that other popsicle stick and I'm going to line it up on the angle just to see how long I want. You want a little bit of an overhang and then I'm just going to line that up and trim off another piece so I have two pieces the same size. So now I'm going to hold a piece up at the top and just use my thumb to kind of mark it and I am going to snip that too. I'm going to take my hot glue and I find it easiest to start in the center and hot glue that center piece on first. You do want a little bit of an overhang. It just it looks super cute. I, I'm so excited about this one. This one looks so adorable. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my sides of my roof on. And again, you just want to line those up so everything is nice and even. Make sure to hold it on until it's dry. Okay, let's get this last piece on here and hold it in place. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what we are going to do is we're going to take this little pipe cleaner. This is a little pine pipe cleaner. Um, I found it at Hobby Lobby, I think. It was fairly cheap for a large pack. So we're just going to form it into a little wreath and set it aside. Now I'm taking the patching plaster. Go check in your basement. See if you have some of this on hand before buying any. And I'm taking one of the smaller popsicle sticks and just applying it to the top of the roof to give that snow look. So this does take probably, it takes a while to dry. So you're going to have to let these sit overnight to dry. Now, while your plaster is still wet, you want to take the glitter. I'm using this white glitter and you want to put it on the roof to add a little shimmer to the snow. And I put a few spots there in the middle of the roof and also added my glitter. And I decided it needed some at the bottom too. So I just went ahead and added some down there 
and you can play around with it and see where you want your snow. I actually went back later and added a little to the top of the doors. You'll see that here in a minute on the final picture. So I am going to go ahead and hot glue that wreath down. Make sure you don't um, hot glue it over the pre-drilled hole or you will not have space to put your twine in to hang it. So that is it guys. I really, really love this project and I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. For more great ideas just like this one, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.